In this segment, I talk about compositions and materials. So compositions, of course, are what they sound like. They're papers that you're composing. You can break them down into parts if you like, but that's what materials are for. It's better not to have these broken down too far because then this area is going to get cluttered. You really want your materials to be pieces of compositions instead of your to do pieces of compositions here. So let me give you an illustration back to the mock composition that we have. All right, so I've added a little bit to it. Chapter 2, Literature Review on the Psychology of Colors. So these are just outline elements. That means that they're not materials. They're not actually parts of the draft. They're just outline elements. And these remarks here are just notes that you can add. But this is a material item. So when I click on it, it populates. I can edit over here or I can open it up. The neat thing about this whole thing is that you can easily get to Word really quickly. So let me give you a demo of that. So if I'm in my composition, I can elect to compose the draft in MS Word, or I can send the bibliography to MS Word, or send the outline to MS Word. I can compose the draft as an RTF file. There's so many options. So if I'm in composition view, I'm seeing everything all at once. It's even uh, compiling my bibliography. When I export this, I can change this. If I need to change this to references or works cited, that's fine. So if I'm deciding to export it, uh, let's compose the draft in Word. It'll ask you to do all these options. Do you want your notes to be in notes or footnotes? What all do you want to include? Alignment, spacing, layout, document, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You could also select the document. I'm just going to do new document. I'm not going to do any of those options. And when I click on it, then it creates the Word file. It's working to do that, working, working. And it doesn't warn me when it's done, so I have to remember that I've done that, and I have to go and click on Word so I can see it. All right, so there it is. I'm going to open it. And I elected to have all that stuff. So... Those remarks that were orange are now notes. Paragraph number one will be about. So let's go back and look at what that was like. Paragraph number one will be about. That was a note. That was the actual paragraph. So the notes that are in red, you can opt for those to export or not to. You choose. So let's go back and look at this. All right, so those exported as comments. And my outline is in there. And so there is my were excited. My bibliography was printed for me and I chose APA because that's what I need to use. So you're going to have to do some editing once you export because here's my appendix and my appendix title and all of that. That's fine. I don't mind going back and doing the formatting, but everything you need is there. All right, so I'm going to close this without saving and talk a little bit more about how these materials work. So you can highlight things, say you're not finished with it, you want to highlight it to indicate that, you know, warning, still working on that, then you can. And you can highlight with different colors. Materials. Um, you don't have to add your materials while you're in the composition. You can add them here. So I'm going to create a material. The materials can all be previewed. So when I click on this, I'm able to see what those are. I can assign status, different statuses to these, so whether they're complete or not. There's just so many options. So let's say I'm going to create a paragraph. Paragraph 3. New material. I'd say I'm going to add paragraph. And let's call it third paragraph. All right. So hi, I am paragraph number 3. Okay, what's neat about this window here, the materials window, is that if you hover over comments, then it allows you to make comments. You can comment here and make plans about it. And this comment feature, it's nice because type my comment. Once I type my comment, there's an asterisk to let me know. And I can configure this. I can make it where it sticks and it doesn't go away when I move the cursor. Or I can make it be a tabbed document. And that feature is neat. So I can plan my writing over here. I can create an outline over here and well that's not outline but you know what I mean. And I can type over here. Alright so that's a nice feature and then when I'm done with it I can go back to um, I can drag it 
so that it goes back to where it was before. Uh, drag it all the way. Let's drag you all the way to where you were before, down here at the bottom. All right, there we go. And once again, you can decide whether you want it to stick or be gone or however you want to do it. All right, so I know there's a comment because the asterisk, there's no footnote or endnote, but I could create one. The neat thing about this is you can change the material types if it was in, you know, draft or if it was a paragraph and turned into a group of paragraphs, you could change that however you like. If it's a group of paragraphs and now it's changed into a section, you can do that. You can put a status on it. Are you a fourth editing done? A third of the edits are done? Half the edits are done? Is it a fourth drafted? Three fourths drafted? Fully drafted? Lacks citations? How, you can create these categories however you like. You're in control of making that list. And the neat thing about this is you can export this as well. So I can insert the text and citation into a Word document, or I can just straight export it to Word. Just only this and work with it. All right, so let's look at that. It's asking you, do you want the citation to come, the status to come? That's kind of nice because if you're working on something like a key definition section or whatever, you can have your status there, lack citations, or almost complete, or however you like. So I've done it. And where it didn't warn me, I have to remember that I did it. And there it is. So I didn't give it a status, but there it is. That's nice. Very easily gets to Word. All right. The other thing I wanted to show you was how the composition works to allow you to outline. And so you can outline it as in-depth as you want to. So under topic number one, I have some notes. Paragraph one will be about, and then I have that paragraph in there where I got it started. So you can look at the draft as a whole all the time, or you can click on Material Editor, which will let you isolate and just look at that material item itself. And paragraph three that I created, it's not here yet, so I'm going to show you how you can drag and drop it from where you were before. All right, so now here's that third paragraph. I'm going to take it. I'm dragging, 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 dragging. I'm opening this up here, and I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be. It's there. I want it to be nested underneath paragraph 3, and so it's there now. So that's how easy it is to edit. If I delete this, it deletes from the composition, but not from the portfolio, which is important. So I've deleted it. It's gone. It didn't ask. And don't worry about that, because it's still there right here. You can drag and drop it in. You can delete it from the portfolio, and then it will ask you, are you sure? So the last thing I wanted to share with you is the materials. You can configure them how you want. So if I go to Tools, there's a Material Type Manager, and you can just edit these and create them however you want. So I tried to associate mine with images. Bright idea or thought there, a quote for a pen there. But you don't have to do any of that. It doesn't really matter what icon goes with what um, label. You're just doing that for your convenience. And so basically that's how the compositions and materials work. Like I said, the nice thing is being able to assign a status, preview, you're getting your word count. You're also getting your word count and your composition. So if I click here and I look at my composition preview, it's telling me I have 16 nodes, 160 words, that's about half a page. And you can configure how your pages are calculated. In the next section, I'll go over more in depth about how you can use these outlines and materials to do easy editing and drafting and revising. It's pretty cool.